I'm going to do a quick video. This is that double swinger clock that I bought and that I put the gnomes on. At first it was running too fast, so I had to raise the gnomes up. Now it's running too slow, so I have to... Uh, Sorry, at first it was running too slow, so I had to raise the gnomes up, and now it's running too fast, so I need to lower the gnomes. Lower to slower. And this got the uh, makeshift uh, cardboard backing on it, but um, the, uh, the way that I made this... Because it didn't have the people with it. If I can get the thing unhooked. It was just a simple... I drilled holes into their bodies. And just a simple wire. Because it's running too slow. I need to... Uh, um... Sorry, it's running too fast. I need to lower them just a little bit. So, it, it's just a trial and error type thing with this clock. And that will lower them or lower this one. have to uh, put it back on standby now I lowered them a little bit so find out what happens tomorrow whether it's running too fast or too slow and then after I get the length straight that's when I'll worry about whether or not those gnomes are even uh, as far as the position that they're in i hope y'all enjoyed this quick short video um friend of mine has a uh, one of these type of clocks except for his has got the count wheel movement and it's an actual cuckoo clock it was a double swinger clock in the first video i told you that they made two two different kinds well anyway he used the bouncing girl for both the uh both the pendulums and the bouncing girl has got this adjustment here uh, to raise and lower the pendulum where in my case i had to make um uh, adjustments by raising or lowering the bend in my wire. Still a cool clock, either way you look at it, and they're extremely hard to find. And as you can see, I always love these shirts. This is my 1880. Alexander Fleeg clock that is the biggest cuckoo clock that I have and it is a shirt designed with my inputs by Seth Linkpelter. It says not for sale it's my children's inheritance. What better way to show the love for your passion to advertise your passion, I get people commenting on my shirt shirts all the time. So uh, get with Seth Linkfelter. Let him design you a shirt from one of his, uh, uh, sorry, from one of your clocks that you love. Uh, you could buy this shirt and many other shirts on Redbubble and I will leave a link in the description of this video 
and leave a link to Seth's YouTube channel at the end of this video. If you do nothing else, uh, please hit the subscribe button to his YouTube channel. He is very professional. I wish my videos were as professional as Seth's videos. He doesn't put as many videos out as I do. And that's because he takes the time to edit, to create professional videos. He gives you the history of, of the clocks, as much history as he knows and can find. But his videos are extremely professional. So make sure you hit the subscribe button to his YouTube channel. If you do, if you even if you don't order a shirt or have Seth design you a shirt, at least hit the subscribe button. And may God bless each and every one of you. After a few adjustments, I wake up and this clock is keeping perfect time with this clock. And so as you can see, I have the uh, gnomes uh, adjusted to where they're um, parallel with the clock itself. So uh, I'm happy with that. It's a 30 hour clock. So uh, you have to wind it quite often.